Hello everyone and welcome to Ocean Cadence. In our video today, we will be covering the topic of portable fire extinguishers used on board and precisely about the water type portable fire extinguisher and the foam type portable fire extinguisher. In our previous video in this series and within this playlist, we have also covered the topics of portable DCP extinguisher as well as portable CO2 extinguisher. So, do make sure to check out that video for comprehensive and detailed explanation about those two particular extinguishers. Now, let us start with the portable water type extinguisher. As we know that water is the most primitive source of fire extinguishing media available on board and anywhere in the world because of its firefighting properties. That is why the most basic form of fire extinguisher that came into existence that is the portable fire extinguisher I am talking about started with the water extinguishing media that is the water type extinguisher. So, let us see how the intricacies of the portable water type extinguisher work. In its simplest form, the construction of a portable water type extinguisher will include an operating lever, a safety pin that is used to ensure that no inadvertent opening of the operating lever or the operation of the operating lever takes place so as to make sure that the extinguisher is only operated when we need it to. The carrying handle which is provided to support to your palm while carrying the extinguisher from one place to another. The cartridge piercing needle that is the cartridge which contains the propellant for pushing out the water which is contained inside the fire extinguisher container. The needle which pierces the top end or the penetrative disc of the cartridge. The main extinguishing media which in this case will be the water itself. The gas cartridge that is the CO2 cartridge within which the CO2 propellant is stored. The discharge tube which provides a guide or the pathway for the water to be expelled out with force and form a jet at the discharge point and the final discharge nozzle. Also, what I would like to tell you here is that even though most extinguishers and specifically the one we are explaining here right now with regards to the ones available on board, you will have a directly mounted discharge nozzle on the body itself. Some in specific cases can have a hose also attached but that is a mist forming hose. So, that is a completely different design which you generally do not find on board but in some cases on newer vessels it can exist. That is just to distinguish between these two designs. Now, let us see how it works. As we all know that first we have to pull the safety pin out and after that we have to push the operating lever down. That is once we have carried the extinguisher to the spot where the fire is persisted. Then pull the safety pin out, push the operating lever down which pushes the needle into the groove and thereby ruptures the top disc element of the cartridge thereby allowing the CO2 gas to escape out through the dedicated passage and then enter the main container. Once it enters the main container, it creates a high pressure entity on the free surface of the water and thereby pushing the water out through the discharge tube and through the discharge nozzle. As we can see in this design, the discharge nozzle is at an angle to the perpendicular. That is why when we are using this extinguisher, we have to tilt it up to an angle of 45 degree from the normal to make sure that the direct jet impingement of the water which is being discharged is on the base of the fire. Also, the water type extinguisher when tilted perfectly would have a discharge criteria of almost 95 percent. That is discharge condition of close to 95 percent of the total water quantity being expelled out which is as good as the efficiency of the other extinguishers. Just like the other portable extinguishers, the water extinguisher also has an empty weight of 6.5 kg and comes in two variants of 6 liter variant and the 9 liter standard variant. The gross weight of the water type extinguisher that is the portable water type extinguisher can go as much as up to 14.5 kgs. Now, once the water is expelled out, what does it do actually? What the water does is that due to its inherent firefighting properties, it acts in two ways. First of all, once you impinge the water directly onto the base of the fire, it would provide a cooling effect. So, it will lower the temperature of the seat of the fire and thereby cause first action of extinguishing. Then secondly, the part of water which evaporates and turns into steam. This steam creates an inerting atmosphere on the layer above the base of the fire. So, what it does is that it isolates the oxygen supply from the open atmosphere to the main seat of the fire 
and thus it also creates a smothering effect. Therefore, a water extinguisher not only cools the fire to make it die down but also smothers the fire. That is, it has two methodologies of fire fighting. For effective operation under lower temperatures, that is, if your vessel is going through sub-zero region temperatures and also through other cold regions, so butyl diglycol is added to the water itself. What it does is that it increases the effectiveness of the firefighting media, that is the water, up to 300% of performance and also makes sure that effective discharge is obtained at extremely low temperatures so as to make sure that the water extinguisher does not become redundant under such conditions. Like other portable extinguishers, the height of a water type extinguisher can also go up to 635 mm and the test pressure of the container that is the extinguisher itself would be 35 bar. The thickness of the body of this extinguisher would be close to 1.4 to 1.5 mm and also as per the discharge criteria, the jet of discharge of water should not be less than 4 meters and the time of discharge should not be less than 30 seconds and effectively near to 45 to 60 seconds. The internal region of the extinguisher that is the inside part of the body is coated with either a layer of zinc or an epoxy polyester to make sure that there is no rusting effect on the inside surface of the portable water extinguisher. Now that we have covered the topic of portable water type extinguisher in detail, let us start with foam type extinguisher. In basic nature, portable foam extinguisher comes in two variants, that is the mechanical type extinguisher and the chemical type extinguisher. What we have on hand here is the mechanical type extinguisher, but I will also be letting you into the details of the chemical type extinguisher as well. Now let us see how this extinguisher works. The foam solution is present inside the extinguisher container and in ways similar to the extinguishers before that we have studied, there would be a piercing needle and a CO2 cartridge. So again, the operating lever to be operated, the safety pin has to be removed out, the operating lever pushed lower and with the help of the carrying handle, the extinguisher is held in hand. The approximate position of the firefighter would be around 4 meters to 5 meters from the seat of the fire. So after this action of the pushing down of the lever, the needle would pierce through the cartridge the cartridge would expel the CO2 out and then again push the foam solution out through the discharge tube which would then lead it to flow through the discharge hose, expand through the nozzle and then be directed towards the seat of the fire or the surface of the burning liquid or any other sources of fire. The mechanical type extinguisher has a foam solution that is filled inside it which is up to a volumetric capacity of 9 liters that is it can go from 6 liter to 9 liters and the empty weight of the extinguisher container is 6.5 kgs. That means the total weight would be approximately in the region of 14.5 to 15 kgs. The foam solution which is present inside the container is an aqueous film forming foam. The aqueous film forming foam has an expansion ratio somewhere close to 12 is to 1 to 20 is to 1. This foam can either be a protein based foam or a synthetic type foam. In contrast to this, that is the mechanical type extinguisher, the chemical type extinguisher would have a longer cartridge, that is you will see that the cartridge would extend nearly close to the base of the extinguisher. The chemical composition of the chemical present inside and outside the cartridge would be sodium bicarbonate and aluminium sulphate. The ratio of this is that aluminium sulphate to sodium bicarbonate is a 1 is to 3 ratio and the total volume should be close to 9 liters. Once the needle is rupturing the disc of the cartridge that is present inside, the aluminium sulphate would be expelled and then create a chemical reaction with the sodium bicarbonate in such a way that the main propellant again which is CO2 would be created as a result of the chemical process and the foam which is generated because of this chemical reaction would be expelled out due to the pressure created by the presence of this CO2 created during the chemical reaction. So, the chemical reaction not only creates the foam but also the expellent that is the CO2 which is very important to remember which is providing the driving force for the foam. Like the other firefighting extinguishers that is the portable firefighting extinguishers, the empty weight of the container here is also close to 6.5 kgs and again the effective jet has to be not less than for a range of 7.5 to 9 meters because the nozzle is a distant throw type. So, 
it has a wider scope for a safe point for the firefighter that is the firefighter can stand a little more far away again the discharge time should not be less than 30 seconds and should go up to 90 seconds now the important thing is how does the foam that is being expelled from this structure fight the fire the foam creates a layer of existence on the top of the burning surface by doing so what it does is it inhibits the fire from gathering further oxygen through the atmosphere thereby creating a smothering effect by creating a layer of separation between the fire and the open atmosphere so the layer of foam thickness which is for the foam which is generated through this type of extinguisher is not less than 50 mm for effective firefighting again the structure is tested for a pressure of 37 bar including the factor of safety now what is important is also to remember that the portable water extinguisher is good for firefighting on media such as solids for example if you see burning wood burning paper or rags or something like that which does not involve any oil that is where the portable water extinguisher comes into play if you are using portable water extinguisher on oil fires it would be not only not effective but also it can create a boil of hazard and also similarly if you are using it for electrical fires it can again create short circuits on live circuits and also ruin the electrical appliances and the circuitry so the use of portable water extinguisher is quite limited for foam extinguisher the use is a little more versatile because the inhibition nature and also the composition of the foam allows the foam extinguisher to be used on oil fires so along with the regular solid fires it can also be used on oil fires but again the problem of not using it on electrical fire still persists because the same thing it would ruin the electrical components and can also because of the liquid nature of the foam lead to short circuits and further aggression of the fires the same points of where to use these two extinguishers is also available on the stickers that are being placed on the extinguisher themselves and in the vicinity of the extinguishers also. So it should not be a complicated issue for even a novice to understand where the extinguishers are to be used. As you can see the water extinguisher would have a simple plain red sticker that is there would be no other coloring sticker on the water type extinguisher which makes it easier for us to distinguish and in comparison to this the foam type extinguisher has a cream or a beige color sticker on top of it which helps us to distinguish that it is a foam type extinguisher hazards of where to not use these extinguishers is clearly mentioned in the sticker itself and again as i told you that for water extinguisher the flammable liquid electrical equipment and in additional the metal fire also is a hazard where this extinguisher is not to be used Whereas for foam extinguishers, it is the live electrical circuits and the flammable metal fires. I hope that this comprehensive explanation clears all your doubts regarding the structure, usage, composition and the other elements involved in the portable water type extinguisher and the portable foam type extinguisher. Also, if you have any existing doubts or if we have missed any crucial points, do feel free to drop down into the comment section of our video mention those doubts or points and we'll be happy to oblige and include those in our explanation further do make sure to subscribe our channel and also like our videos and share them with your colleagues thank you so much